Hello MotoGP enthusiasts, welcome back to ZNGP today. Marc Marquez's recent second place finish at the German Grand Prix signifies a significant comeback, reaffirming his competitive edge after challenging seasons. The Cervera-born rider's journey, from overcoming injuries to securing a new contract with Ducati, underscores his resilience and determination in MotoGP. Emilia Bastianini, amidst a season of highs and unexpected turns, reflects on his journey and future in MotoGP. His recent decision to move to Tech 3 KTM came as Ducati announced Marc Marquez as their official rider for next season, a move that surprised many, including Bastianini himself. Jack Miller, amidst the MotoGP summer break, gears up for an unexpected venture into motocross racing back home in Australia. Embracing a spontaneous opportunity, Miller will compete in the Pro MX Championship at Echo Valley in Toowoomba, riding a Caterpillar backed Thriller Motorsports KTM 450 SXF. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Mark Marquez's podium at Saxonring, following a challenging season plagued by injuries, was a moment of redemption. Starting from 13th on the grid, Marquez showcased his tenacity, culminating in a memorable finish alongside his brother, Alex Marquez. Saxonring has always been a special track for me. Last season, it tested my limits with multiple crashes. This year, it feels like a victory to stand on the podium after such a tough period. Marquez told by Motosan. Reflecting on his career trajectory, Marquez acknowledges a shift in mentality since his injury in Jerez 2020. He now embraces a more measured approach, recognizing the challenges of consistently achieving top results in MotoGP. My approach has evolved. I understand now that being at the top is not the norm, it's being second, third, or even further back. Being the special one who wins requires exceptional effort, and that's what I strive for. At 31, Marquez faces a new generation of riders like Pedro Acosta and Jorge Martin, whom he finds particularly challenging due to their natural talent and uninhibited racing style. He contrasts this with his early days facing MotoGP legends like Rossi and Lorenzo. When I started at 20, it was instinct and fearlessness driving me against established names. Now, facing riders like Acosta and Martin, I see how their natural ability and lack of injuries make them formidable opponents. Quote from Marc Marquez. Marquez contemplates the future of his career, recognizing the inevitable transitions that all athletes face. He remains optimistic about extending his MotoGP tenure beyond his current contract with Ducati emphasizing the importance of managing his career descent gracefully. Every athlete has their peak. Mine came early, but sustaining it requires continuous effort. Whether this marks the start of my decline or not remains to be seen. I aim to navigate this phase strategically for a lasting career. Marquez concluded. Mark Marquez's journey in MotoGP continues to inspire, marked by resilience, adaptability, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. As he prepares for future challenges with Ducati, his experiences against both seasoned rivals and emerging talents like Acosta highlight the dynamic nature of elite motorcycle racing. Stay tuned for more updates on Marquez and MotoGP's unfolding season. Emilia Bastianini has navigated a turbulent path in his debut year as a factory Ducati rider overcoming early setbacks and injuries that marred his performance. Despite these challenges, Bastianini found redemption this season with podium finishes at Mugello and Assen, proving his competitiveness and resilience. My start at Ducati was traumatic. Crashing and getting injured in the first race affected me throughout the entire first season. This year feels like a fresh start as a factory rider. Perhaps with one more year. Quote from Inia Bastianini. Bastianini's decision to switch to Tech 3 KTM was influenced by Ducati's surprising choice of Marc Marquez for their official team, a decision initially expected to favor Jorge Martin. This unexpected turn of events prompted Bastianini to reassess his options, ultimately finding solace and securing his future with KTM. 
I didn't anticipate it, nor did I imagine this outcome. I believed the decision would involve a closer contest between Martin and myself. With his contract secured with KTM, Bastianini expresses newfound calmness about his future, contrasting the uncertainties he faced until recently. Despite initial temptations towards other teams like Aprilia, Bastianini opted for familiarity and competitiveness in reuniting with his former technical team. Until Mugello, everything remained uncertain, with tomorrow's thoughts looming. Today, I feel considerably more at ease, Bastianini added. Addressing the dynamic of having two strong personalities like Marc Marquez and Francesco Bagnaia in Ducati's official team, Bastianini remains unperturbed. He expresses confidence in their ability to coexist harmoniously, citing their intelligence and professionalism. I believe Mark and Pecco are both very intelligent individuals who will navigate their partnership in the best possible manner," Bastianini concluded. Enea Bastianini's season has been a testament to perseverance and adaptability in MotoGP. As he looks forward to new challenges with Tech 3 KTM, his reflections on Ducati's surprising decisions underscore the unpredictable nature of the sport. Stay tuned for more updates as MotoGP continues to unfold its drama and excitement across circuits worldwide. Jack Miller, known for his MotoGP prowess, is set to tackle a different challenge this weekend as he joins the ProMX Championship at Echo Valley. His decision to participate reflects his passion for dirt bike racing and his admiration for the series' competitive spirit. A little spontaneous for me to throw a leg over the dirt bike at a national level event. But in keeping with my typical last minute fashion, I thought I'd give it a crack. Quote from Jack Miller. Expressing his excitement, Miller acknowledges the support from his partners and the thrill of engaging in unique events outside the MotoGP circuit. His participation also serves to enhance relationships with sponsors and fans alike. It's always awesome to give my partners a little more than we planned by doing these unique one-off events away from the MotoGP circuit, not to mention filling my own cup by riding dirt bikes in general. Miller's schedule includes two races in the MX1 category, each lasting 25 minutes. Among his competitors are seasoned riders like Kyle Webster, Jed Beaton, and Nathan Crawford, promising an exhilarating showdown on Australian soil. Excited to see everyone in the valley come Sunday, Miller said by crash. While relishing the motocross challenge, Miller remains focused on his MotoGP career, with the season set to resume at Silverstone in August. His future in MotoGP remains uncertain following developments in team placements, yet Miller explores potential opportunities with teams like Pramac Yamaha, Track House Aprilia, or Grezini Ducati. This weekend's reprieve in my home country is a refreshing break from MotoGP, but my sights remain set on securing my future in the Premier class," Miller concluded. Jack Miller's foray into motocross at the ProMX Championship adds a thrilling chapter to his summer break. As he prepares to return to MotoGP action, his detour to Echo Valley underscores his versatility and passion for motorcycle racing. Stay tuned as Miller's journey unfolds both on and off the track promising excitement, and surprises ahead in the world of motorsports. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.